I am going back through all of my videos and photos and I'm going to share with you the the months leading up to the dig day. So this is all of the prep through dig day. Um, we always knew this was going to be where we built. Um, and we were just waiting for the right timing for God to make the right moves in our lives so that we could do it. And when that happened, we pretty much knew instantly, all right, this is our time. So um, we actually, I had gotten a new job um, with a promotion and Matt was, Matt had a great job. So uh, we had actually gone on a cruise together, just Matt and, and I. And um, we got back and the next week we thought, let's just go, let's start looking at some house plans just, just to start, you know, pricing again. Cause we've, it's been in the works since I was a very young child, but I mean, since we were married, we had uh, looked at models and uh, builders a couple of times and even as far as gotten pricing. And we thought, okay, well, let's, let's just see where we're at. We've, we've gotten, ourselves um, professionally where we think we need to be and let's see if we're right. Um, so we went, uh, we started talking to a couple of different builders and we had really good advice from one of them and they said, don't look for the builder who can give you the right price. Look for the builder who gives you the right feeling about the builder and then work with them to get the price where you need it to be. Um, because it, the, the process and, and being comfortable. I mean, it's a, it's the biggest investment you'll make. Um, being comfortable with that process is first and foremost, the most important thing. So we, um, spoke with the, that builder ended up not being the one we went with. Um, we never really, so we ended up going with Schumacher homes. We never really thought that we could afford Schumacher homes. We couldn't before, you know, God, did with our jobs what he did um, and we went down there just expecting to go down one evening scope out a couple of floor plans that they had and maybe get some very vague information we ended up being there four hours um, about till they were closed or a little past when they were closed and we sat so we had a few floor plans in mind we had three of theirs that we absolutely loved um, two of which were at the site that we went to, which was in Milford. I want to say Milford, Ohio. I, I get Milford and Batavia mixed up. I don't know why they don't sound alike. They're just very close to one another. So we went down there and looked at the two models and we actually walked through this floor plan first. And I thought, because it was actually number three on my list. And I thought, let's just get this one out of the way so we can go look at the other one. And we walked in it. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. This felt like home. It felt like home. We went to the next one, which was number one on our list originally. And it was great. It was beautiful. It was, I mean, it was gorgeous. All of their houses are gorgeous. But it didn't give me the feels like this one did. So we knew this one, this one was it. So we went into um, the office and started talking about uh, features and, um, you know, site costs and that kind of thing. And we, we took the numbers home and we're praying about it. And we thought we might be able to pull this off. And, uh, we, the next week or the next weekend, actually, I think we took our kids whew, and our parents with us to look at it because it was it sounds like dating and you're taking taking your parents to meet the the house anyways so we were um we were we were impressed they were impressed and that pretty much sealed the deal we started looking into financing um it was march of 2020 when we took them and it was or february and it was March 31st. Oh, the numbers are so a blur. It was either March, it was March 31st when we went and signed and put our, our, our earnest money. It was a, it was, it was just a, a quick thousand bucks to say, we are serious about this. We want to do it. 
Cora is back here. So that was that was the start. Um, we have there was a lot of stuff to do before we were even ready to start thinking about digging, but because we had the land, we were out here all the time. Please stop. Okay. Um, we thought, you know what? Let's let's just start being out here as much as we can. So we would come out and we would start working out on the the um, the bank of the dot of the pond, lake, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, I'm twisting it, something <laughs> awful. Oh my gosh. So we would start um, pulling weeds and sticker bushes out from the shoreline and start um, cleaning up old limbs out of the pond. Um, we were, we started mowing out here regularly, first with a bush hog a few times, and then we, uh, my dad would come out with a, um, like a pull behind mower on the four wheeler. And then finally we got to where it was low enough that we could cut it safely or safely. And you know, you don't want to mess up your machine. So, um, but with a regular mower until we were doing all of our preparations, making all of our selections. Uh, we had our selections meeting and um, made our, our final uh, decisions on things going in the house. This girl wants to be in this video. <laughs> all right, go inside with that, please. Yeah. Then stop coming over here. Okay. Um, so we signed on, on all of our all our stuff and that was the beginning of the beginning. Uh, we uh, had some issues with getting fine. We didn't have issues getting approved. Let me clear my name. We did not have issues getting approved for financing. Um, there were some hiccups with our loan, a few reasons. If you've ever applied for a mortgage, especially a building loan, the the things you have to prove about yourself are ridiculous. Um, so uh, just not that I'm trying to give you all of our business, but just things, to, if you're not alone if you're going through it or just a heads up if you're not going through it yet. Um, you know, you have to have a specific amount of reserves in the bank. They need to make sure that you're financially secure. They need to know that your job is secure. It was 2020, so you're talking early 2020. Remember what was going on. We had to provide statements from our from our employer, which is a large employer, um, stating that our job was secure through COVID. Like, we had to get all these goofy things. Um, our reserves, we had plenty of money in our retirement to count as our reserves, but because we work for the state of Ohio, we live in Indiana, but we work for the state of Ohio, our retirement program, we can't just withdraw money from that. We can't access that money unless we lose our job. So that could that our retirement that we've been paying into for years has could not count as an asset for us. So we had to very quickly come up with about thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars to stick in our savings account, and then not only do we have to come up with it, we had to prove where we got it, which we don't do anything illegitimate, anyways. We had to prove where we got it. If it was a gift, they had to prove how they could provide. I think this bank was ridiculous. I don't know if I'm allowed to even put what bank it was on here. I don't know if I'm allowed to slander anybody, but I won't just in case. But ooh, anyways. That, see, that's the Lord. I just need to shut up about it. So anyways, um, the bank finally, the, it, they had they were terrible with keeping re all of our records. And finally, they were asking for things two and three times saying, oh, we didn't get this. Or, oh, we need an updated one. Well, you need an updated one because it's taking you so dang long to get our stuff processed. Finally, it got to the point where we reached out to Schumacher and said, hey, we, we may be having a, bit, a major hiccup and we may be pulling our business from this bank and having to start over with our financing. And I understand if that messes things up with a dig date and all that stuff, but we were so, and it was a bank that they recommended, which is why we told them. And they, um, yeah, look at this child. Okay, my land up. So um, anyways, they ended up reaching out to the bank for us and we closed within two weeks. So anyways, and then several other things happened after we moved in and started paying our mortgage. 
like we ma we paid our mortgage and one of our payments that we sent they applied all to principal and it, they didn't count it as a monthly payment so we made maybe three regular mortgage payments with them before we found another bank and refinanced and got a better rate so that was a bigger nightmare than it needed to be so anyway so we um we signed everything was good we closed we were waiting on um on our dig day and it took a few weeks we closed july like 13th july 13th ish and um then two, within two weeks we had our driveway and then a couple weeks after that so a couple weeks everything is running together it was in august early august when we got our driveway and it was like the like around august 24th or 28th i've got all these dates and i don't know why i'm, I'm it's because i'm here now and i've forgotten about it um we had it was our dig date so that's what i'm showing you guys today is all these pictures that's why i've been hopefully popping them up in and out of here um but our dig day came and I think I actually recorded something here. Here's something that I recorded for you guys on dig day. Good morning. Today is our dig day, which means after dealing with the bank for a while, which was annoying, and then um, finally getting our driveway in and getting the electric connected to the site and our temporary electric and uh, getting the excavation crew um, ready for us. We are ready to start digging today. So today we've been told that they are going to dig our, um, they're going to dig the hole for the basement and they should have our, uh, footers poured today. And, um, our head of construction, uh, just pulled up. So we're just waiting on the heavier equipment that's going to do the work, um, to show up and they're going to start the dig. So, um, we are really excited that the day has finally come and um, I'm actually sitting um, at my family farm right now um, watching over across the lake to where they're at. Um, my husband just drove over there to um, make sure he had he roped off the septic site so that wouldn't be disturbed when they dig. Um, he's just making sure everything was roped off correctly and um, we are in the final moments before the earth is gonna move out there. So I just wanted to quickly connect with you. Um, I heard big trucks and I thought it was them, it's not. Um, we, uh, it's an exciting day and I'll be um, doing videos hopefully fairly regularly and, um, and I'll be updating um, as much as I can, taking some pictures um, and some drone footage though. Have a good day. So yeah, dig day was a lot of fun. We um, were working from home and actually working just right over back there at the farm. Woo! And um, so I could bring my laptop outside and just sit and watch them dig. And it, I've never been more interested and watching a backhoe dig up some dirt in my entire life, but I was so excited. So here's some videos and images of um, of the dig, just a few, it's not, they're not very long, and then some of the images from uh, Dig Day.
day one. Hole is dug. The footers are marked. And Cora's right here. Say hi, Cora. Hi. Next, we'll be pouring the footers and setting up the walls for the foundation wall or the basement walls and pouring all the concrete for it. Day one, they did a good job. Nice clean digging. No, you can't go down there, sissy. It's too deep. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. That was our, our preparation through dig day. We were out here as much as we could be, just doing as doing whatever we could do. As soon as they um, came and marked the the spots for the corners of the house, we started like planning our driveway. We were like opening up the fence up there. Um, the who was it the so long short story um my husband's father passed away just a like a few days before dig day and um the the evening after his the the day of his funeral but the evening that evening we came out here and we needed to we needed to do something out here and we um that's when we installed our mailbox we do, it's it's just being out here made us happy doing anything that was contributing to getting ready for the build brought us joy it brought us peace we it, because it was it was making us being out here a reality getting us one step closer to what our new reality is um which is where we're at now so i will be bringing some more images coming soon with um in another video to talk about some of the first stages um, of the build. All right, thanks and take care.